Uh, folks, Basel Trapper here, Dow's down 100 at 35,128, and this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. We're looking also at that monthly chart. <laughs> it's going to be so important to see where we close at the end of the day. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow when I do my Tiger Technicians Hour and we do a more technical analysis in the in the show. We're looking at the S&P. Uh, actually, this is very interesting. Dow's down 99. S&P is only down 2 at 4,600. It made also that, you remember the Chapwick methodology, we were always trying to identify a buy signal that goes to a buy mode. The implication being at least four higher peaks, peak D, and then other things can happen. Well, the Dow made a peak D, the S&P made a peak D at 46.20. 763 holding really nicely here. Uh, the weekly chart is looking pretty good because it's way over 50% retracement. Most importantly, that monthly chart so far, the candle is outstanding. But uh, the, the month is young because we've got at least a couple of hours to go. Um, we're looking at the uh, QQQ 123. There we go. NDX 100. Trading down up uh, two cents at uh, 367.10. This is a peak B. There should because it's in a buy mode. The MACD is good, stochastic is good. It should go higher to a leg C and then a D. Doesn't tell you how high other techniques do that. We'll see if that's going to work out next week. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, small caps, a nice candle, 91 cents up at 208.36. At that peak D, tremendous resistance at the 200 period exponential moving average of 211. Gold, gold's holding really well. Gold is up. Uh, $8 at 1946. It's in this trading band. If it ever can close above 1975, something in that area, in mid 1970s, that's going to be a big deal because it takes it out of the rectangle trading range. And 1900 is key support. You're looking at crude oil pulling back sharply. It's down five at 103. It's also in this trading area, made the H pattern going to a lowercase m, still stuck in a range. The TLT is the one that's starting to move a little bit up. It's up 63 cents at 132.38. What a smash from 155 to 127. You'd expect at least a relief rally from this Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. I'll be doing the um, the hour coming up. Uh, Larry is, is away and I'm able to, I just made some changes, so I'll be able to stay for another hour. And uh, there's a lot to go through. I want to go through the currencies. I want to go through the different commodities, some of the metals. I want to go through the, uh, the bond, the yields, etc. I'll be back for another hour straight after this. Um, not sitting in for Larry Pozeramant, so music this hour for another hour of...